What is going on, everybody? <clears throat> it is Craig, and I'm back with... No, not a movie review. I'm still stuck at, I don't know, 14, 15. Trust me. Trust the process. We'll get to the 100. This might take a bit. This is actually um, a mail haul. It's over a couple weeks. But I've added a couple of new sign pops to the collection. I promise you that video is coming. With all of them, I think I'm somewhere in the 110, 120 range now. But I did get three new additions. All of which I'm happy about. But, you know, one of them I got because I was able to snag at a pretty good price on whatnot. Um, and the other two are definitely horror editions that I wanted. So, first, the pop that I didn't, I didn't necessarily need for my horror collection. Uh, but it is very cool and... There is just some something ironic about this individual signing a Funko Pop as of a cop when you look back at his old music career. Uh, but we have, from one on SVU, we have Ice T. Like I said, Beckett certified, very cool. Um, I would like to get the Musha Hargate eventually. I, I would love a Chris Maloney. I've never seen one, so who knows? But you know what? What not? There's certain things you can pick off a of what not. You find the right seller who doesn't have. Um, you know, people on that say, you're looking for these, they're looking for the bigger ones, the bigger names. And the bigger names on those shows sell high. Some ones like this, sometimes they, you know, very affordable. So I'm happy about that one. I wouldn't have got it if I wasn't able to get it, sort of at a good price range. But now the other two. And one of them, I, I dare to say, is Grell-esque, because he doesn't, well, you'll see. But this is this is just a really cool one I got. Um, and I paid, I paid the going range for this. So I didn't get a deal, but I didn't overpay either, so I did wait. And I know there was a bunch up and people were snagging them. Eventually it was going to come down, and it has a little bit. So we have Ethan Hawke as the grabber. Also Beckett certified. Um, I do have an 8x10 signed by Ethan Hawke from here. But, you know, I got that before I thought they'd do a movie. But, you know, I mean not a movie. Before they do a pop, I didn't expect to see a pop in this movie. But I'm glad we got one, and this is the version I went with. Very neat. And now the last one. And this is the one to me that is the coolest, relatively speaking, because it's um, it's my first time getting this gentleman's autograph, and it's one I've wanted to add to my collection for a long time. Now, I wish this pop was one of his other movies, but the movie I'd want it for the most, Pumpkinhead, I'm sure I just spoiled it for you who this is, they don't make Pumpkinhead pops. I imagine they might have him, I know they have a, a figure of him from Aliens that probably could be an Aliens pop of his, but I don't know, if it's not Pumpkinhead, I don't really care which one it was, and this is the only one I was able to find on eBay, um, and it's Predator, you know, he's in Predator 2, um, I believe he was in the other one too, Alien vs. Predator, um, I could be wrong about that, but a Predator pop signed by Lance Hendrickson. Now, the only thing about this is if they ever did make a pumpkin head pop, I really couldn't get somebody to do the window swap. I don't know how to do it because it bled onto the pop itself here. But that's fine. It's a beautiful autograph. This one's JSA, though, not Beckett. Um, but I don't see Lance Hendrickson. And I almost had the same thought with wanting to pick up a Lance Hendrickson um, that I did with Never Gain a Sid Haig. You know, not that I'm wishing anything bad on Lance Hendrickson, but you know, it's one of those things you wait for Sid Haig and... Unfortunately, the reason Sid Haig's pop is so pricey is because the pop itself is ridiculous. But still, I did a search. I didn't find m many, if any, others for him. So, so it's a nice option. Get him on a Predator pop. I think that's pretty neat. You get him in your collection. Again, if he, if he has an alien pop, that might be your thing. But I do know there is no pumpkin head. But anyway, three new ones for the collection. I really want to do that video. Because when I do that video, I'm also going to share sort of my... These are the ones I'm hunting. These are the ones I'm looking for the most. Uh, and then maybe someone has them for trade, something like that. I do have some goodies that I would be willing to trade towards certain pops that I do not have. But anyway, what new... Those of you who collect pops, I know we're a very specific breed, the sign pop group. You know, as a lot of people are still anti them, but I think they display great. You can stack them up pretty well, and I do have them in one, two, three different places. I even have a couple next to me here. So there will be a video one day where I go through everything, I promise. As always, though, thanks for checking out my video. Till next time, peace.